Hello farmers, in this video, I will be giving you the formulas to use to make your own layer chicken feeds at all the growth stages from week 1 up to when your chicken starts to lay. I will give you the formula for the chick mash, for the growers mash and also for the layers mash. I will also give you the ingredients to use in each feeding stage, their actual amounts to include in the ration and also the nutritional requirement of each layer bud at every stage of growth. And also because of the difference in the availability of the nutrients to make these poultry feeds, I will give you two formulas when it comes to formulating the layers chicken mash so that you can be able to choose which will work for you depending on the ingredients that are available in your locality. But before we get into today's topic, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel and also hit the bell notification so that you will be notified when we post a new video in this channel. Also, if you get this video informative, please make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Let us start with the chick mash. Due to the rapid growth in chicks, they need to be fed with a feed containing 18 to 20 percent of digestible crude protein. In order to meet this requirement, here are the ingredients that you are going to need and the amounts that you are going to include in this feed ration so that you can be able to prepare 100 kg of the layer chick mash. To prepare 100 kg of the layer chick mash, uh, you will need whole maize 46 kgs then you're going to need wheat bran 13 kg wheat poland 10 kg sunflower meal or groundnut cake 25 kgs fish meal at 2.6 kgs limestone 2.5 kg then salt 70 grams the, the supremix for 40 grams tryptophan 140 grams lysine at 20 grams methionine 20 grams, then 140 grams of drionine, 120 grams of coccidiostat, and 100 grams of toxin binder. Something to note is that the chick mash will be fed from day 1 up to week 4. After these birds reach an age of 4 weeks, they, re they will require to be introduced to grow as much, which should contain 16 to 18% of digestible crude protein. And this helps the pullets to grow faster and prepare them for egg laying. They will be fed this grow as much from week 5 to week 18 to prepare a bag of 100 kgs of the layers grow as much. You will need whole maize 14.3 kgs, then there is maize jam 24.3 kgs, wheat poland at 18.6 kg, wheat bran 14.3 kg, the sunflower or the groundnut cake 15.7 kg, soy meal 4.9 kg, limestone 2.9 kg, bone meal 1 kg, fish meal 4.3 kg, then there is 40 grams of salt, 5 grams of coccidiostat, 30 grams of premix, 5 grams of zinc bactracin, and 10 grams of toxin binder. Now let's get into the layer feeds. Layer feed contain higher amounts of calcium to cater for the, you know, the laying and maintenance of the body for example in making the bones if you feed the layer feeds before the birds reach 18 weeks the excess calcium will damage the the hens kidneys and this leads to many complications which will affect egg laying it is advisable to introduce the layer feeds to the birds after you identify that at least five percent of the birds have started laying layers require a digestible crude protein of 16 to 18 percent and a sufficient amount of calcium to maintain the strong bones and lay high quality eggs and as i had told you i have two formulas when it comes to formulating the layers mash and this is to give you a wider a wider variety to choose from so if you find that some of the ingredients in option one 
are not in available in your place then you can check out the opinion the option two which have different ingredients that will help you you know come up with this 100 kgs of the layer smash in the first option to formulate 100 kgs of the layer smash you are going to need whole maize 48.5 kgs soy meal 17 kgs 11 kgs of fish meal 14 kgs of maize bran or wheat bran 9.5 kgs of limestone premix 200 grams lysine 100 grams methionine 50 grams threonine 100 grams tryptophan 50 grams and also the toxin binder 75 grams when it comes to this option two to formulate uh, the same 100 kgs of layer smash you are going to need maize grains 59 kgs soybean meal 20 kgs groundnut cake at 6 kgs then 4 kgs of wheat bran 5 kgs of bone meal 5 kgs of limestone methionine 200 grams lysine 200 grams then there's premix there's a vitamin or mineral premix 200 grams salt 200 grams 100 grams of toxin binder and finally 100 grams of the layers mix some of the important tips on feed formulation is that number one is isolate some chicken then give them the feed that you have formulated and observe how the production is going to be before introducing the feed to the rest of the flock number two is that store your food properly to avoid a contamination by mycotoxins it is advisable to prepare feeds uh, in monthly batches to avoid the feed from going bad number three is that mix the micronutrients uh, plus the premix before mixing with the rest of the feed number four is that it is also it is advisable to use a drum mix mixer to do the mixing number five is that don't use rotten ingredients to make the feeds they contain mycotoxins which can cause fungal infections to the chickens here is another video that i had made on how to prepare or how to formulate your own indigenous chicken feed hit that video to learn about how you can formulate your own kienyeji feeds or your own indigenous chicken feeds